Well, we'll start just ask you have a big weekend, obviously, with two of the better teams in the league. Just wondering what you think about the matchups with Cornell, Cornell and Colgate. Well, you know, I had to spend a lot of time just focusing on ourselves here this week in terms of making sure we're uh, heading in the right direction down the pipe for the playoffs. Uh, obviously, uh, impressive both teams on tape. I think, you know, normally when you're when you're running at the top of the league uh, like they are right now, I don't think they have any glaring weaknesses. So, you know, sometimes mm-hmm. you can win a game and, and look to maybe expose them in a certain area, but they look to be pretty uh, pretty sound. They're going to challenge our habits here as a team in terms of our defensive habits and our responsibilities. But, uh, you know, we played, uh, played hard against them on the road, and that'll be what has come down. We're going to come down to our work ethic level and uh, how hard we're ready to compete on a, on a given night. So I'm looking forward to the challenge this weekend with our guys, as are our guys. It will be a good chance to see kind of what you guys have going into the playoffs too, playing these two type of teams because, I mean, these are the kind of teams to beat if you want to do something in the playoffs. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, yeah. it's, uh, it's like, you know, but I, I'm going to tell you right now, there's uh, a <laughs> lot of good teams this league. Like, on a given yeah. day, you look around the league in terms of uh, in terms of scores and going and uh, not much separation. Uh, these these are two of the teams that have given themselves a little bit of separation at the top. So what, what that says is they're, they're probably the most consistent group. And yeah. like I said before, is they uh, uh, don't don't come up with anywhere. There's an area where you can really kind of pick on them or, or look at that's a glaring weakness for either team. And that usually is uh, are the teams that are competing for championships. And the one weird thing with two weeks to go in the season, I don't know if you even knew this or not, but I think you and Harvard are the only two teams that could finish anywhere from first to 12th. Is that kind of a strange league where you could you know still finish anywhere in the, uh, those spots with so two weeks to go? Usually that's not the case. But yeah, yeah, I, I find you know it's a situation. There's a you know, in terms of it, we're, we're uh, obviously trying to give ourselves the best possibility uh, uh, come playoff time. But uh, more importantly for us come playoff time, we want to be playing well. Uh, you know, we just got to, like I said, ending in a situation on Saturday night where we gave uh, some glaring mistakes that put us in a situation that uh, that's, I can't keep into our game here. We're going to get a lockdown and be prepared to uh, be above guys. And, uh, and uh, situations where we're away from the puck, we got to be really alert and uh, on top of our game. So that's what we're focused on mostly this week. We'll uh, spend a little bit of time tomorrow maybe folks on the uh, individual traits of, uh, of Cornell and then on Saturday we'll look at uh, Colgate but we don't spend yeah. a ton of time during the course of the week folks and other guys we're, other teams just uh, just making sure we're getting ourselves where we need to be to be playing at the level that uh, we feel is needed heading into playoffs. And last thing I was going to it's a senior weekend too I was just wondering what's this class kind of meant to you uh, I've seen that you didn't recruit these guys but you kind of inherited them but what you know what have they impressed you with this year? Uh, some... Well you know I, I talked to a lot of coaches when I got the job and they, they, you know they talked to them about the senior class is very mm-hmm. very vital for you uh, in terms of making it go one way or another in terms yeah. of uh, taking a program over because uh, you don't want to look past them in terms of their uh, their final year in terms of a journey mm-hmm. and, and talk about future and all that. And we've tried to we've tried to talk about living in the moment and being uh, being where we're at and uh, uh, you know our locker has been good our camaraderie has been good and that's a tribute to them in terms of uh, in terms of situation they wanted to finish off on a good note here too with their mm-hmm. class. So um, you know I think they're having some good years in terms of our situation. They put forth the effort every single day yeah. uh, in terms of where we're at. Uh, so you know it's uh, grateful no. for them senior class to afford us an opportunity as a new staff to come in here. And, right. uh, and them to be uh, attention to detail and, and focused on uh, on what we're asked to do and then not uh, not looking at us uh, out of the corner of their eye and all that. They've been vested. They've been fully in, and, and that's been very important and very appreciated by our coaching staff. Right. Well, thanks, Casey.